Hello and welcome to News Hour 60 Minutes of News Live on CCTV International and Lixin in Beijing. The World Bank is warning that prospects for the global economy remain unusually uncertain. This is despite recent signs of improvement in some parts of the world. The bank has cut its 2009 growth forecasts for most economies. Lina has more details. The World Bank's 2009 Global Development Finance Report details individual economies for the first time. The report predicts that the world economy is expected to show its worst indicator since World War II. It had recently cut its forecast for the global economy to a contraction of 2.9 percent. This was from a projection for a 1.7 percent decline set in March. Developing economies are expected to increase by 1.2 percent, a sharp drop from 8 percent in 2007 and 6 in 2008. Except for China and India, the GDP of developing economies is expected to decline by 1.6 percent. Unemployment and the number of poor people will increase further, but economists believe the world economy is already recovering, although slowly. As a result, we expect that the recovery is going to be relatively slow. We expect that the global level uh, growth will be only in the one, uh, two percentage rates uh, in 2007, 2010, and picking up even uh, to around 3% in uh, 2011. The report says China and India contribute the most to the world economy. China's economy is expected to grow 7.2% this year and 7.7% next year. The forecast for India is 5 percent and 8 percent. The report says developing nations are expected to drive the global economy out of the recession. Their forecasted growth for 2010 is 4.4 percent and 5.7 percent for 2011. The World Bank also stresses the need for financial sector reform and support for the poorest countries. It says this must take place for the global economy to achieve a sustainable and complete recovery. Lina, CCTV. European and U.S. stock markets slid Monday alongside oil prices after the World Bank warning. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 1.8 percent around midday New York time, while the broader Standard & Poor's 500 index fell 2.5 percent. In Europe, the FTSE 100 index of leading British shares closed down just over 2.5%, while Germany's DAX ended down 3%, and France's CAC 40 was also down 3%. In oil markets, benchmark crude for July delivery fell $2.70 to $66.85 a barrel. Following the global trend, Chinese mainland stocks were also hit hard this morning, with all major indices opening down over 1%. The benchmark Shanghai Composite opened uh, at just over 2,800 points. The central bank's vice governor, Suning, said today the economy is headed in the right direction, but the foundations of the recovery are not yet solid. He also said he hopes that China's mainland will be the first major economy to emerge from the global crisis. We'll have more details on today's market action when we come back at 2 p.m., but for now, a quick check of the trading figures at this moment. All indices are in negative territory. The Shanghai Composite is down by 1.4 percent, Shenzhen Component down by 1.7 percent, and the Shanghai Shenzhen 300 Index down by 1.2 percent. Taking a look at the B shares. The Shanghai B shares down by 1.5 percent, and the Shenzhen B shares down by over 1.6 percent. And for an in-depth look at the World Bank report, earlier I talked to Dr. Tang Ming, Deputy Secretary General of the China Development Research Foundation. I started by asking him whether the World Bank predictions shows that the recent talk of a recovery was overly optic. The data shows from World Bank report, it seems that uh, in March, World Bank uh, have a uh, projection, and this is now very recently, there was another projection. It seems that uh, in World Bank point of view, and uh, the situation it seems uh, a bit uh, lower than what they expected in uh, March. So from that point of view, yes, um, it seems uh, a quarter ago is too optimistic. 
Now, because new information coming, they lower the expectation a bit more. As China and India stand out in the World Bank report as the main contributors to world economic growth in 2009 and 2010, I also asked Dr. Tan whether he thinks that the world can depend on China and India for a full recovery. Um, in terms of growth, in terms of additionality, and work, uh, China and India has play a very important role. Um, so uh, I would say that on one hand, China, India, in terms of growth rate, is quite high compared to other countries. But in terms of scale, and all two economies still are small. So uh, we uh, uh, do not expect uh, really China, India can drive the world recovery, but we definitely contribute part to the world recovery.